Pull me one more cup. Run, run, run. The night's too young to the light down, down, down. Let's go to Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo. Let's go to Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo. Baby girl, let's turn on the candles. When I hit it from the back, she got it handled. Now she see me and she acting brand new. When I hit it from the back, she is so thankful. It's me, you again. You did a real friend. Tell me what I mean. Do you want me to yourself? Baby, it's just us in the front room. She was an absolute banger, I think number three. Because I ain't going to give you all the tune because that's all right. If you want to hear more of the tune, the link's going to be in the description. She was an absolute banger, so make sure you look, you go and check it out. 100. Hello, people, back in with another video. Really excited to uh, do this fragrance. You know, I'm real happy, as you can tell. Um, I'm real happy, as you can see. To review this fragrance it's gonna be my first uh, review on a niche fragrance um, it's a great Spain fragrance there's my number seven Oud. now um if you're not really big into the whole fragrance thing this may not be a fragrance you've heard about before again this is a niche fragrance so these are made by your sort of designer brands sort of the brands that um, don't only focus on making fragrances such as like your Dior uh, Chanel's Regardless and so forth, these are really niche fragrances. It's the sort of fragrance that you that you struggle to find um, as commonly as your designer brands. Now, what I think about this fragrance is a it's a great smelling fragrance. I love the way this fragrance smells. It's described as I'm gonna spray it again. It's described as a fragrance that has um, citrus, uh, patchouli musk and coconut i can definitely smell the coconut in the fragrance um one thing you will notice as well um, before i continue about um about uh, niche fragrances is they tend to have a lot of ingredients in them i mean that's what makes them niche that's what makes them expensive yeah can definitely smell the coconut um it's described as citrusy but one thing i will say about this fragrance is it not have the normal citrusy DNA they expect from other fragrances. I feel that's due to the other sweeter notes they've added into the fragrance. So it sort of almost dumbs down, dumbs down the um, citrusy uh, notes in the fragrance. As I said, it's a very great um, smelling fragrance. When you smell it straight away, you know, yeah, this is going to be a very expensive fragrance. You know, it's not. It doesn't smell like a designer fragrance. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I don't feel you need to be a fragrance connoisseur to be able to smell this fragrance and understand why it costs how much it does. But that's just for the smell. Um, when it comes to when it comes to performance now, um, that's where things aren't as great. Uh, Bearing in mind EDP, and with a lot of EDPs, they tend not to have um, as good projection as some of their um, some of the count the EDT counterparts. Um, so I, w I wasn't too disappointed about the projection. Projection saw all right for the first hour or two. Um, I would say projection was all right. Um, you saw you 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 um, people will be able to smell you. Um, after that, it sort of dies down. Um, performance is also where I'm pretty uh, disappointed uh, when it comes to this fragrance. Um, I smell it on my skin, and then I can't really smell it anymore after um, four five hours I would say yeah five hours I feel the fragrance is more or less gone I'm talking less than the skin scent you know I've tried it a few times as well uh, just to make sure it wasn't for example a body lotion I was using or um, maybe the uh, maybe where I was and so forth um, but yeah this fragrance it doesn't really it doesn't it doesn't last long considering it's an EDP um, and this is not to say that all EDPs last long in EDTs but considering it's an EDP in general you'd expect this fragrance to last longer than um, a lot of EDT counterparts especially when you take into account the price um, you're paying for this fragrance in which I'll get into later on you'd expect it to last a little bit longer but well not a little bit longer quite a bit longer if I'm being honest um, but you don't really get that from this fragrance so I would say in terms of uh, how long it lasts it's, 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 it's poor if I'm being honest especially when taking into account how much you're paying um, projection of course I said is it's okay considering it's an EDP uh, considering the sort of fragrance it is you probably want to project a bit more but maybe because of the sweet fragrance um, you don't want sweet fragrances jumping out too far because it can get a little bit um, offensive obviously it's said to be a, a citrusy fragrance I wouldn't as I said it's not when when someone says citrusy fragrance this is not what I expect to smell it smells very very good it's sweet but it's not a uh, one million sweet um, 
You know what I mean? It's not one million lucky sweet or uh, Victor Roll Spice Bomb sweet. It's not, I wouldn't say it's not that sweet, but it is a sweet fragrance. Um, could you wear it in the summer? Potentially you could. Um, some people that are really black and white with what they um, want in the summer, winter fragrance, may not necessarily wear it in the summer, but I mean, you could wear it in the, you could wear it in the summer if you really wanted to. I don't feel you'd offend um, many people, if any, if you were to wear it in the summer. Um, again, it's a, it's, a, it's a sweet fragrance. So anywhere in which you feel you're gonna be uh, meeting a lot of people, sort of thing, bumping to a lot of people, um, that's the, it's the sort of fragrance you wear. It's not a sort of fragrance I'd wear necessarily in the, in the office, it's a bit too, I might say it's a little bit too, a little bit too sweet. Uh, yeah, although, yeah, I mean, putting performance aside, it's a sort of fragrance going by scent alone that I'd maybe sort of wear if I was going partying or uh, clubbing. Um, I wouldn't necessarily wear it um, in the in the office. I wouldn't necessarily wear it if I'm going to an interview sort of thing. It's a fragrance, obviously, because of um, the way it smells, some of the notes like the coconut um, and the sweetness it has. It is definitely a unique experience, I would say. Um, yeah, it definitely smells like a fragrance in which a man and a woman could wear. Uh, I do feel that it does lean more towards the women's side. Obviously, the sweetness give, gives it, a, and I probably said coconut gives it a bit more of its feminine touch. So, um, again, if, if you're the sort of man in which, you know, uh, fragrances that sort of uh, lean a bit more to the feminine side or somewhat leans to the feminine side, if that's not for you, then you can sack this fragrance off. Um, on the other hand, if you're the sort of guy, you don't mind having a little bit of sweetness in your fragrance, you don't mind a little bit of feminine touch. Obviously, again, as I said, it is a unisex fragrance, then uh, you should be fine this fragrance. Of course, do give it a smell first, because this fragrance isn't cheap, um, which I'm going to get into right now. So now, when you're looking at price, uh, for 100 mil, um, this is going to knock you uh, 162 pounds um, in Selfridges. This is a fragrance you won't find in many places. Um, I believe Selfridges and Harvey Nichols um, both sell it for 162 pounds, uh, so and that's for 100 mil. So again, this is not this is not a cheap fragrance. This is the most expensive fragrance I've reviewed to date. It's a fragrance I don't own, so I, I'm smelling it still deciding whether I'll buy it. Uh, I feel the um, I'm, I'm the sort of person if, if the smell really gets me, then sometimes I can look past the performance. As I said before, I don't mind carrying atomizers and so forth, but I do feel like this. Um, the longevity on the fragrance on the skin is so poor that I'm not even too sure if whether I, I would buy it or not. The smell is great though, so if you do even smell it, you definitely be tempted. You ask yourself questions. Do you know what I mean? But in terms of how long it lasts, boy, that's 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 the biggest letdown for me with this fragrance. Yeah, that's, oh, this fragrance smells so good. That's the thing. It's so, it smells so good. It's just so disappointing how poorly um, it lasts. You know what I'm saying? How quickly you can't smell it on your skin anymore. Yeah, man, I'm so disappointed by the performance. The performance in this fragrance is the is the real letdown because this fragrance smells so good. I'm about to go Muay Thai now. I'm, I'm gonna wear this right now because the weather's looking good right now. I don't want to smell good. You know what I mean? Like it's it's mad. But nah, man, this fragrance is when you smell this fragrance, this fragrance is great. You smell it and you know why it costs 162 pounds. You know why you don't find it in your normal perfume shops because it's a very great smelling fragrance. But it's just the performance that's a bit of a letdown. So yeah, guys, that's a wrap. Uh, hopefully you liked the review. Um, I definitely like if you are in Selfridges, Harvey Nichols, or whatever, you get a chance to smell this. Do go and um, you know what I'm saying, smell it, see what you think about the fragrance. Let me know if you thought my review was accurate and so forth. Uh, let me know whether you bought it. Let me know whether you would buy it. Let me know how long it lasted on your skin because of course um, fragrances can last um, different lengths depending on skin type. You know, and um, leave your comments below. Share, like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Love.